Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to introduce the kettlebell hand-to-hand -hand transition. This exercise is part of an instructional series where we are providing instruction on the basics. One video covers one topic, and if you watch this playlist in order, you will get a full private lesson on the introduction to kettlebelling. The hand-to-hand -hand transition is based off of our baby single arm swing. So we learned our two-hand deadlift to build our structure. We worked on our two-handed swing because it's easier to learn. Then we went to our single arm baby swing where we were only swinging up to about 45 degrees with our arm. Now we're gonna work on rotating our thumb towards the sky, finding our other hand thumb to thumb, pointing our thumb back. Simple coaching cues first. Hip dip, arm touches the inside of the leg. Stand up, roll your thumb towards the sky. The other hand will find the kettlebell, grab. As you go down, point your thumb back so that if something goes wrong, your elbow is in a safe position. Stand up with the hips, thumb up, grab, thumb down. Snap hips, thumb up, grab, thumb down, absorb with the hips. Now with the kettlebell, two feet point straight ahead, take a step back, 12 to 18 inches. Make sure your handle is perpendicular to the line of your body. Hands in the crease of the hips, sit back in the heels, knees behind the line of the toe. L of the hand to the L of the kettlebell. Grab thumb, fingers. Bottom two fingers are kind of floating on this one. Hike the weight back, stand up strong with the hips. This is not an arm exercise, this is a hip hamstring exercise. Sit back, snap. Sit back, snap. Sit back, snap, 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 sit back, snap. Sit back, thumb touches down. Stand all the way up. We're pretty specific about this coaching cue of thumb down to save the elbow, thumb up, because there will be space on the bell for your hand to grab the other side of the kettlebell handle. And then as we track back, we point that thumb back so that we can get into our proper hip position. All of the dynamics are the same through all of these different videos. The important part that we're learning with all of this is hip snap. The important part about this video is we are learning to transition in the easiest position when we're standing all the way up. We're not transitioning with our hands down low. We're not transitioning at the bottom. We're transitioning at the top. As the kettlebell swings up for a brief moment, it stops moving and it weighs nothing here. It weighs the most at the bottom as the weight is swinging down. So we are going to change hands at the easiest possible time, when it weighs nothing, when it is directly in front of our eyes and when we are standing up. Thumb is pointed towards the sky so the other hand can easily find the bell. You can see it directly in front of you, you are most likely to have success in this position. This exercise is practiced for reps in the beginning, maybe three transitions with each hand for a total of six swings, and then you would put it inside of an EMOM every minute on the minute for 10 minutes. So you would take a timer, set it for 60 seconds, perform your three reps on each side or six hip snaps, and then you would wait the rest of the minute. You would calm down, you would let your heart rate settle so that you can focus on doing the next set. As your heart rate gets high, your ability to think goes down in the beginning. As you get in better shape, that will change. But everybody loses an ability to think when their heart rate reaches a certain level. So we want you to try to succeed with this by having lots of break in between small sets. Do small sets, learn to succeed, set the weight down, recover, do it again. The goal is to learn to succeed, not to learn to fail. If you're dropping the weight every time, start to make smaller sets. Make it lighter, figure out how to do it correctly so that when you go up to heavy weights or you get your heart rate high, you are more likely to do it correctly and not get hurt. Not getting hurt is always the goal.